Well, you know, usually a thief will follow the path of least resistance. So simply locking your doors is enough of a deterrent to force them to move on. But that wasn't the case last night. They busted windows under the cover of darkness, in some cases not stealing anything at all. We recommend not approaching them. We do recommend calling 911 immediately. A sense of security in the suburbs quite literally shattered. It's just a bummer. You know, we got to get a new window and and that's just sucks for us. The Jason family, one of dozens in South Windsor overnight who had a vehicle window smashed and the contents rifled through. Even though the doors were locked, they were just going to they were going to get in. The group popped from neighborhood to neighborhood not just checking door handles. Now they're up to breaking windows to get in cars at night. So yes, the light will go on and I'm going to get a camera. His wife heard it happen in the driveway. And she got out of bed because she heard a bang and turned on the light and then that car sped away. Minutes later, that same group is believed to have broken into vehicles parked here at Lightning Fitness. The crimes occurring despite posted video surveillance signs. Fox 61 obtaining these images of the suspects and their sedan. It usually is in these sprees, uh, the same people operating within the different towns over the course of a night. South Windsor police tell Fox 61 about 20 vehicles were vandalized in total on these targeted streets, an issue residents say is only getting worse. Be as safe as you possibly can with your own belongings. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we, the community can take a better turn so that we don't have this kind of thing show up in the future again. Hey, Matt, you know, we've heard of this happening in other communities. Do police think that some of the same people may be involved? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, South Windsor Police told me today, Jen, that they are sharing information with surrounding police departments because typically these thieves will coordinate their efforts across multiple communities. In fact, just a couple of minutes ago, we received word from the Weathersfield Police Department that over the weekend they had nine streets targeted, 40 vehicles there broken into similar circumstances, these smash and grabs. And not just Weathersfield and South Windsor, we've heard about this in Rocky Hill, Newington, and countless other Connecticut communities. We're live here in South Windsor. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.